Hello, my name is Mercia and I am so glad that you could join me today. I'm excited about what the Lord wants to share with you today. I have a sense that people have stepped out and taken the plunge, been bold and courageous, and it just seems like all hell is breaking loose. But this is what happens when we step out and do what God has called us to do. Believers, we can't quit because of opposition. We can't quit because of the adversaries that are coming against us, left, right, and center. You see, Satan is not pleased when we are doing the right thing. When God is opening doors for us. When there's opportunities for us to succeed. He will come full force. But we need to be confident in who we are. Confident in what we are called to do. Confident that we will triumph, confident, confident that we will overcome, and that the victory is ours. We can't allow the lies of the enemy and the things that we see happening around us or to us to prevent us from going for it. Amen. We've got to stand bold and courageous. We were given authority over Satan. The Bible says, I've given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. The Bible says we are to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Satan is trying to come against you. He wants to stop the plan and the purpose that God has for you. He wants to get you off focus. And so now it's your opportunity to speak to that mountain. Say, mountain, be removed and cast into the sea. And do not doubt in your heart, but believe that those things you say, you will have whatsoever you say. So speak to the opposition. Speak to the mountain. Command it to be removed. Satan has to flee. But don't wallow in self-pity. Don't quit because of the opposition I was thinking of Daniel and the three Hebrew boys. Three Hebrew boys were cast in the fiery furnace. It was heated even hotter <laughs> than it was supposed to be. And then there was Daniel cast into the lion's den. And the opposition they received from the Murdis and the Persians, the Bible says, all hell broke loose because they wanted to do what God had called them to do. And they were standing strong and they were taking their position and their strength from God. The three Hebrews boys said, Oh King, we're going to trust our God. We're going to believe in God. And whether he takes us, he uh, removes us from the fiery furnace or we die in the fiery furnace, we are not going to bow down to you. And then there was Daniel that was thrown into the lion's den. And he believed God. And he trusted that God was going to bring him out. And early the next morning, the king came to Daniel and said, Daniel, has your God Delivered you from the lion? And Daniel said, yes, my king, the Lord has delivered me. We've got a belief that God is going to bring the breakthrough. You've tried something new and all hell's breaking loose, but God has the last say. He's going to bring you out because he wants you to get to the other side. Most of, of David's life, we have Saul coming against David. But God was with David. 
And David had to strengthen himself in the Lord. That's what he said. I strengthened myself in the Lord. And this is what we need to do. We are going to have opposition. John 16 verse 33. In the world you will have trials and tribulation. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world and I've deprived it of power to harm you. Opposition is going to come, but we're going to have to stand strong and we're going to have to believe what God has to say. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9, it says, For a great and effective door has opened to me and there are many adversaries. This is what happens when doors of opportunity open for us. We're going to experience opposition. But we're going to have to trust God. We're going to have to rest in His promises. We're going to have to rest in His faithfulness. All of us have adversaries. We have opposition. But we're going to have to trust God. We're living in a season of great opportunity. And we can't just give up and quit. All of us are going through something right now. And it's the devil coming after us because we want to honor God with our lives. We want to step into all that he has for us. We want to walk in the plan and the purpose that he has for us. And so Satan is coming with everything. If he can't get us through our through our families, he's going to try in our business, he's going to try in our ministry, he's going to try in our jobs, but he is going to use every ounce of strength that he has to come against you. For a great and effective door has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. That's why we need to know the word of God. So that we don't quit and we don't give up because things seem to be hard. And then we have the Lord saying to us, Jesus says, come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Let us rest knowing that God can handle this. God is going to see us through. God is going to strengthen us for purpose. He's going to help us. The victory is ours. We are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. We have the faith of Jesus Christ. And he's going to give us peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. The Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind has stayed on him. Because you trust him. And that is what we're doing through these programs. We're learning to trust the word. We're learning to stand on the promises of God. And as we continue to, to, to spend time in the word of God, learn the word of God. Maybe you were feeling hopeless, frustrated because of the adversaries, because of the opposition. But there's a word for you. A great and effective door is open. You're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. And there are many adversaries. I trust this encourages you today. We've got to stand grounded in the word of God. This is our foundation. This is our, we, what we trust in. We trust in the word of God. We trust in the promises of God. Through these programs, we want to learn the word of God and apply it. So often we just quit. We give in. Because things start to happen that we're not expecting. We should always expect opposition. We should always expect that things are not going to go according to plan. But not because God has caused these things to come against us. But because we live in a fallen world. And Satan lives in this world trying to get the body of Christ distracted. Get the body of Christ off focus, trying to stop you from doing anything significant. God loves you and he is going to help you. You are not alone in this world. 
You are not the only one that is experiencing great opposition. But more than ever, we're going to speak to the mountain. We're going to remind ourselves that we have more authority over the power of the enemy. Amen. And so, Lord, we, we come into your presence today knowing that we are more than conquerors, that we are overcomers. That you will always cause us to triumph. And so we speak to that mountain. We speak to the opposition and we command it to leave. And we say, Lord, restore what the enemy has stolen. And give us the wisdom to apply ourselves. Give us the wisdom to do what you've called us to do. Give us the solutions. Answer our prayers speedily and strengthen us, Lord, to trust you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, our comforter, counselor, intercessor, strengthener, standby and helper. We say thank you. Thank you that we are getting over the situation. We are going through the situation that we find ourselves in. And we are destined to succeed. Because grace and favor is our portion. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your word that's living and powerful. Thank you that you watch over your word to perform it. And I declare over us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, you shall condemn. Because this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and his righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. I thank you that during this time you've not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you that you're opening doors of opportunity for us, doors that no man can shut. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. And so I trust you were encouraged today. Be blessed in all that you do. If you've been blessed by this message today, why don't you like, subscribe and leave me a comment? I love reading the comments. Tell me about the opposition that you are experiencing and so that I can pray for you and and together we're going to believe that God is going to bring about the breakthrough that you need. Amen. Remember that God loves you. In Jesus' name, amen.